So hi, my name is Warwick. I'm the uh, CTO of Brightbook. And I'm here to tell you about how we're going to use open data for micro business. Uh, but first, I'd like to tell you about how Brightbook came to life, how something we made for just ourselves has gone on to appeal to tens of thousands of companies worldwide and all with no marketing budget. Ah, here we go. It is a bit slow. Here we go. So as we're a free online accounting service for micro-business, I'd like to get an idea of how many of you are, with, are in a company with five or fewer people. Can I get a show of hands? Okay, so we, we made Brightbook for all of you guys. Um, uh, let me explain why. I know many of you are consultants who are passionate about information sharing. I'm pretty sure you're not passionate about your bookkeeping. When you're concentrating on work, you're love, work you love, you're not thinking about chasing a payment. So 14 years ago, uh, my co-founder James and I met. We were sharing an office space in Soho. We had our own separate companies, which we started just after the dot-com dot crash. And so fast forward to a Friday afternoon in 2008. James was doing his VAT return. He wasn't at all organized. It was really painful and took him most of his day. I, on the other hand, had just spent a couple of hundred quid on an overcomplicated piece of software, and it took me two hours just to make an invoice. It was like using a sledgehammer to crack a nut. There had to be a better way. So I hacked together a simple web app, which did exactly what I wanted it to do. So I was making invoices and tracking payments. Um, I showed James, and he thought it was a brilliant concept and immediately jumped in. He proposed various things like, uh, what if it can do expenses? And how about euro euros and dollars? This is how our first version grew. Brightwork was born and was nameless, and it was only for James and me. Then a couple of months later, a few other people in our office, they asked to use it we realized we could be creating something special. We launched the first version of Brightbook um, uh, in February 2010. We didn't have a press, we didn't do a press release or have a party, anything. We just set it live, went home. Then a few days later, we noticed a traffic spike. It turned out that a friend of ours, uh, who was the editor of Graphic Magazine, which was a leading design journal, um, shared it with her fan base. By the end of that week, we had 1,500 active users. James and I both felt passionately that Brightbook could succeed. We made something people wanted to use, uh, something that uh, solved their frustrations. People were telling us that thanks to Brightbook, they no longer dreaded doing their accounts. People, uh, because, it was a, because it was simple and straightforward, they could focus on what they love to do. It was a real milestone for us. For the next 18 months, Brightbook was still more or less of a, a professional hobby. We released version, do, uh, version two, and started generating revenue, which was awesome. Um, we're then approached by a leading accounting software provider for a partnership or something more. They wanted to bridge the divide between small businesses and accountants. James and I both saw this as a validation of what we were doing. Anyway, talk stalled and they ended up buying a competitor. Whilst it was slightly disheartening, it really fired us up and motivated us to rethink the value of not just Brightbook, but what accounting software in general provides for small businesses. We needed to be different. We needed to be unique. Uh, we couldn't just be a simple recording and reporting tool. Uh, uh, what if we could do uh, much more than that? There we go. Um, when you run a business, you want to know where you stand and how you compare to your competition. We started thinking, wouldn't it be helpful if you could benchmark yourselves against your peers? How amazing it would be if we could proactively help you make and save money. We realized that doing it on our own would be difficult as we only had shared data from our own platform. We knew that in order to have enough data to tell an accurate story, we needed open data and massive amounts of it. After a chance encounter with the ODI, we found out about their startup program. We applied and were accepted in June this year. For us, the ODI has been a great first step on the road to setting up commercial partnerships. With the likes of Open Corporates and Companies House, anonymous open data uh, can be a central part of our platform. We're super excited because Brightbook could be a really important tool for a huge amount of people who share exactly the same frustrations as we did. Thanks for listening. I'm off to the Web Summit in Dublin uh, later this afternoon, but we'll be in the Startup Theatre at 1.30. Uh, I'd love to have a chat if uh, any of you are in the world of SME data. Thank you very much for your time.